So this is my friend Molly, who eats like a normal person, and together <laughs> we're going to get some fruits for me to try. What is it? Kiwana? I have no idea. This is good content. <laughs> Alright, that's actually my cup of water. So, I have avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. If you don't know what that is, watch my video about it. So, hi baby! Hi. So my assignment from my counselor this week is to try fruit that I haven't had before. So, me and Molly went to the grocery store and got a lot of different fruits. <laughs> and we've ordered them from most normal to least normal. <laughs> and we're both going to try them. As a bit of clarification, I don't have the same eating disorder that Morgan has. And I'm actually kind of an adventurous eater, so it'll be interesting to see the comparison between the two of us. Honeycrisp apple is my absolute favorite. I work at a grocery store and I buy these all the time. Do you want me to just cut off a chunk? Yeah. Ooh, that squirts. Ooh. Three, two, one. It's kind of tart. Quinn, do you want to eat it? Yeah, you. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it up though because I have no teeth. Next step. No cutting required. Raspberries. Also something I enjoy. We grow them in my backyard. They're kind of hairy. A little bit. If you go for the darker ones, they're usually a bit sweeter. Okay. Right, wait, hold on. Let me... This is one of the things I'm actually really scared of trying. It's squishy. It's got a weird texture. Like, I don't know if I really got much of the taste of it, but the texture of it is just like spooky. Next up, kiwi. These ones are usually a bit harder to mm, skin, so I'm just gonna butcher this thing. Okay! Ooh! Inside of kiwi. That's really aesthetic. Oh boy. Excuse me, sir. Mm, what part of this should I bite out of? Oh, thing. Doesn't matter. Seeds. Do you want to do the countdown? Because I'm too yeah. afraid. <laughs> Three, two, one. This one's more mild than the other ones. Yeah, it reminds me of cucumber, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> it's been many years since I've eaten a vegetable. <laughs> I feel like I could eat this mixed with something else in a smoothie, yeah, but on its own, it's not pleasant. Next up is nectarine. I really love the smell of these. I love nectarines in general. Don't eat that, Casper. It tastes like a peach. Are we sure it's not a peach? <laughs> yes. What do you think? It's just a peach. <laughs> it is something I would eat as a smoothie or juice, but perhaps not recreationally. <laughs> this is getting into the range of things I've never had before. This is an apricot. Ooh. I have never had an apricot. Oh, it has a pit. I'm just gonna bite the center. Hmm. It tastes like a fruit cup. It's sweet. Next up, a star fruit. <laughs> yeah, I think this one's the star fruit. This is the first time I've touched one. I'm gonna Google how to cut it up. Apparently, don't eat this if you have kidney disease. Um, oh, apparently you can just. It's a star. <laughs> this is why they call it star fruit. <laughs> Quinn. Quinn just looks amazed. Can I have some? Yeah. This looks delicious. 
We're about to find out. The yellower the star fruit, the riper and sweeter it is. I did not know that because I've never seen one of these in my life. Mm. That's a flavor. <laughs> is a pepino melon. A what? Ooh, that smells weird. Oh no. This smells like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to try this, but I have to. <laughs> try this. I don't know if I want to try it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah, I was bracing myself with ugly faces the whole time. Not as bad as I thought, but it's not good. <laughs> Next on the list. Spiky boy. This from New Zealand. I don't know how to eat this. I barely know how to hold it because it hurts. The battery on the other camera is dying, so that's it for the close-ups, folks. Cut the fruit in half. Gently squeeze one half until the slime-colored seeds ooze out. <laughs> I wish I had the close-up camera for this. My knife. Apparently, as it ripens, it tastes like a banana. Some people prefer to hold the seeds between their teeth and suck off the green flesh. I don't like that. Hey Quinn, wanna try it? This is a sensory nightmare. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Here you go. What am I supposed to do? Suck on the seed. <laughs> and chew off the flesh. I'm having a real problem right now. Me too. <laughs> I couldn't even taste it, it's just the, the, the texture, it's bad. It's Flemmy. Mm, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> This video was a mistake. Next, hopefully better. Don't know about that. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, oh it's kind of beautiful. It's really Ooh. pretty, but it looks like cookies and cream ice cream. It looks like wrong, like viscerally wrong. The camera really is not gonna be able to capture this color difference. <laughs> How's it taste, Mom? Flavor is mild. Texture is a little weird. Ooh, the texture is what I'm worried about. I feel like for educational purposes, I should explain what's going on in my mind and body. So it feels like there's a tightness in the center of my chest, and it's like like squeezing. And I feel like all my muscles are locked up. So it's one of those things that's psychological but manifests itself physically. Yes. Okay, I get that. Like, yeah, it, it feels it it feels like a wall. <laughs> Less so right now because I'm in my own home with my friends who I trust. I chose to do this, and I was told recommended to do this by my therapist. So, uh, all lots of reasons why I'm not losing my goddamn mind right now. But if I was in a restaurant mm -hmm. in public, this is how I'd react to like a soup, just like any number of things that people think are normal mm. that I haven't eaten before. It's gotten better now that I'm older, but it used to like consume my entire mind. Like mm. I would not even be able to function when I was a kid. I'm just scared because it looks seedy. I don't like seeds. You can only try a little bit if you want to. I'm gonna lick it. Okay. I'm gonna lick it like... That did nothing for me. Okay. <laughs> I need to do more than that. Yeah, the flavor is really mild. myself to take a big enough of a bite to, to get the flavor. It's just too... Here, let me see if I can get you a scoop of that many seeds in it. I can feel every single seed inside my mouth right now. Not a fan? It didn't really taste like anything, it just felt not big. <laughs> Alright, so that was a horrible experience. <laughs> Morgan and I grew up in pretty opposite situations, at least food-wise. My parents, they would have us try a bunch of different foods all the time. I've had sour cream and onion crickets. I've had a cow tongue sandwich. I also grew up with two gardens 
a chicken coop and a pigeon coop in my backyard. Meanwhile, when I was a kid, my mom put me in a headlock because I wouldn't drink a smoothie. Okay, uh, running out of memory card space on my camera. So that was today's episode of I Humiliate Myself for the Education of the Public about my very eating disorder. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> and check out my other videos on the subject. So, Molly had an allergic reaction to one of the foods, and we don't know what it was. I don't know which one it is, but now I'm covered in hives. Oh god. Did you say you feel dizzy too? Yeah. Alright! Please consult a doctor if you try strange fruits. This has been a disclaimer. I cannot be held liable. <laughs>